Angels, what is going on? The Champ Strider here. And just from being involved in the community, whether through my Discord, my YouTube channel, or just talking to fellow content creators I'm friendly with, I can sense or, or even feel myself a bit of chivalry fatigue lately. And the numbers back this up as just last week, chivalry was hitting lows close to 1,000 concurrent players on Steam, which is a pretty steep decline from what we were getting just a few months ago. And while Steam is is only a portion of the player base as most of the OGs we still play on Epic we and we also have console too but these trends tend to usually be pretty consistent across all platforms so let's dive into the topic of why are people leaving chivalry I'll try to offer up some suggestions or solutions as I go if you enjoy the discussion be sure to subscribe to the channel so I just want to say as I start here that I don't intend this video to be like a dev bashing session. Uh, the intention is that this discussion or feedback can be used to help the game. I think I've been pretty clear that despite flaws, it's still the best game to release in the last few years to me. And I want the game to continue to hold a reasonable amount of players and bring in new players even. So I think probably the biggest reason players are fatiguing out of Chivalry 2 right now is a lack of new content. And I know people will want to challenge this since the Tenosia update was pretty huge during the Steam release, and I will get to that. But what I mean is a lack of content for the game's flagship mode 64 player. We haven't gotten a new map for 64 player team objective since Aberfell, which it feels like absolute ages ago. The majority of the player base plays this game only in 64 player mode. You'd expect this to be the developer's focus, and yet we have these beautiful Tenosia maps that can only be played in their own 50 something player queue or the 40 player queue, and both of these modes are mostly dead. Even the new map coming in October, Hippodrome, is going to be added to the 40 player and Tenosia queue, not the flagship mode. So to me, we're getting no new content. Imagine if Riot released new maps for League of Legends, but they could only be played in Arrow mode, or for Valorant, they released a slew of new maps only for Deathmatch. It just doesn't make sense. I, I kind of feel a little stubbornness coming over from Torn Banner here because the reason Tenosia isn't in 64 player servers is because with Horses, the game breaks on last gen consoles. Horses took a literal year of development time to implement and now only a small portion of the player base even uses them since they're in absolutely dead queues. In my opinion, the new maps need to get into 64 player and there are two ways of doing this. Either funnel last gen players into 4 40 player servers or just cut the cord on the horse experiment because right now it feels like we're just doubling down on something that's being used by only a small minority of the player base it doesn't make sense logistically and I actually enjoy the horses but I'll take Tenosia without them in 64 player over just not ever getting to play those maps now, the next reason I feel like we're losing players is ignored released modes. While most of the Chivalry 2 player base participates in Team Objective, there are some very dedicated smaller audiences that are just diehard for their modes, whether it be free-for-all, dueling, or even the 50 deranged people who enjoy Last Team Standing, but these are hardcore Chivalry players, and I gotta advocate for them a bit here. They deserve new content also. Like spending some time converting some existing maps into dual yards or free for all maps would just add so much diversity to those modes and really keep things feeling a bit, a bit more fresh. It looks like we're making a tiny amount of progress here as Hippodrome will be in free for all, but really I think all these modes should double in size. Now reason three I think kind of ties into my second reason about neglecting modes and we need to talk about the quick play selection screen. This just grinds my gears a bit because it makes absolutely no sense to me. Currently, you can choose from Tenosian Team Objective, 64 player Team Objective, 40 player Team Objective, Beginner Mode Team Objective. Do you guys kind of see where I'm going here? It's all Team Objective. Where is the Diversity Torn Banner? Get some of the other modes on the main page. Yeah, we can search the server browser for other, for other game modes, but I think it's well established at this point that the server browser is where game modes go to die. And there's no reason things need to be like this with Team Objective all over the main page. We have plenty of options here from consolidating or removing some of the 
TO queues to using some sort of weekly rotation like Call of Duty does where we always have 64 player team objective but each week we rotate the other selections or just make the icons for each mode that are absolutely huge right now cut them in half we could double the amount of queues that we have on the main page just by doing that giving people more options will only increase the longevity of the game now my fourth reason for chivalry fatigue can be partially based on design philosophy and partly blamed on the player base and this is that the game generally is only fun for half of the people playing there has been a lot of discussion about the fun or fairness of defending and torn banners design philosophy is that they want all the maps to make it to the ending stages so the defending team generally feels like one of the plebs in a movie fight scene just getting slaughtered by the main characters for 20 minutes with little chance of victory. People like to feel engaged and they like to feel like their gameplay matters. And I think a good look at improving the balance between attack and defense would help to engage the defending team. Personally, I really like Aberfell because I feel like on attack every point is difficult and on defense I always have a chance to win. The imbalance has been exacerbated even more by the player base. Look, I've been playing games for over 20 years. In, in general, people are soft and they'll always choose the path of least resistance. This is why you have entire discords dedicating to meeting up in public lobbies, swapping to attack, and beating the hell out of a bunch of kids who just installed the game. It's just beta mentality. And Torn Banner needed to take the strong father role with these cucks a long time ago and force them to stick out their assigned team. Nothing will destroy player retention more than new players just catching beatings for hours straight and it looks like we have some changes coming in October to address this I'm hoping it's not too little too late now reason number five people are fatiguing on chivalry is different platforms are treated differently console gamers have been neglected pretty hard and the stuff they're asking for doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to add now after a year they are finally adding a console FOV slider but why do they not have custom bindings and why does the chase mechanic still not work on console that's a pretty huge bug that should be attacked aggressively ensuring all players can have as close to the same experience it's just so important in keeping players happy and engaged now before i close up notice i didn't say anything about crossplay i've talked about that just so many times and it seems to me like something has to be wrong in the code of the game that they can't figure it out it really should be in but i'm skeptical about it ever getting in the game all right guys so that's kind of my feelings on why we're at our current player counts let me know down below did i miss anything do you guys agree do you guys disagree i want to hear more from the community champ out